Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You're being watched under a microscope. Look at this. You're being watched under a microscope. I feel like there's a masculine that wants out of the situation even if they end up homeless. Um, and there's a karmic that wants to take you down. Um, they may want to fight with you. They may even want to get physical at this point. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, collective, um, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for all of your support, all of your likes, your subscribes, everything. Um, thank you so, so much. I love you all. All right, so, yeah, like I said, you're being, you're being studied. It's not just being watched, right? There, people are picking you apart or um, maybe even criticizing your work or, I mean, really, really watching you close, to possibly even trying to learn what you're doing, okay, for someone. But, yeah, from both people, the, who are, your person and whoever they're with. And, and whoever they're with, this karmic individual, they want to they wanna fight you. They want to bring you down. They're angry, they're jealous, they're envious, and your person, um, they could be doing some drinking here, and they, they want to get out of that situation, like I said, even if they end up homeless. But there's a karmic that just doesn't want to let them go. They want to keep trying. Well, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try to be like um, the Divine Feminine, right? See, there's a door here behind this karmic. See that? That's a door. And I feel like this masculine, they always want to get out of the situation, but the karmic is like, no, let's, let's try. Let's try. But this thing has been, I mean, it's going down here. It's coming to an end. And I feel like there's a masculine that's going, or a karmic that's going crazy. There could have been some spell work done here because this is a spell work card. Um, they could have had a practitioner um, do some spell work as well. Um, this could be totally changing the appearance of this karmic individual. And meanwhile, you're out here. You can maybe sense this that people are sending you bad energy, but I feel like you're very serene. You're very peaceful. You're very calm. It's not really having an effect. I feel like it's it's going back to this karmic. They're to the point where they're getting very volatile. Okay? They're starting to get... Um, like, it's affecting the way that they think, okay? It's affecting, um, they could be getting headaches. They could be thinking very irrationally right now. Um, it just, there's something about it that feels very volatile. Like, this person's about to get physical. Like, they just, they just want to fight with you, maybe. Because um, the bad energy that they sent you, it's piling up on these people. And yeah, you're out here winning. It may be making you tired. It may be making you feel kind of fatigued. You could be, um, you know, I'm also seeing this as something about what you're saying, how you're voicing your opinion or something, your intuition maybe, whatever it is you're doing out here, I feel like it's just making you win. It, you are going to kind of feel that energy around you though. Maybe you're sleeping at weird times of the day or, you know, go ahead and get your rest, Collective, because you've been doing a lot here. All of these medals, look at all that you've accomplished. You've been working really hard, okay? That could be making you tired, okay? But, you know, I feel like everything that this karmic is doing, and believe me, they're trying to do a lot. They're really, really straining here. Okay, um, it's all coming back on them. But the thing is, is like I said, it's affecting their mental state. Um, they're, they're thinking irrationally. Yeah, and they don't want to let your masculine go. They're tr they, this masculine is trying to get out, and they may even be getting physical with the masculine. Okay, they, all I'm seeing is just being very, very um, controlling and bullyish and getting physical to get their way at this point 
Yeah, look at this. Look at how sad this masculine is. Oh, they feel very, uh, you know what, honestly, any kind of fighting, this karmic could even get this masculine put in jail. You know, I feel like this karmic, um, they could get physical to the point where they may put their hands on your person, you know, and get physical with them, but blame them for it. But I feel like this masculine just feels so stuck and trapped in this situation, and they're sad, they're upset because they just want you. They're um, two of cups, their soulmate connection. And I feel like you're out here winning. Um, I feel like this, this hole has been dug for so long. I feel like this is a karmic situation that should have ended a long time ago. And now it's to the point where it just keeps getting worse and worse. And this person's mental state, this karmic's mental state keeps getting worse and worse. And it's, to, it's, I feel like this karmic's getting ready to explode, I gotta say. What else can you show me here? They could be turning very abusive at this point, very controlling. Um, I feel like the masculine doesn't want you to have anyone else around you. You are their dream connection. They don't want anyone else around you, but they feel so stuck. This could be aging your person prematurely as well. Look at how drained they are from this connection, from this karmic situation. They are just spent, okay? You know... They would normally look like this person here, but look at them. It's just draining your person. It's aging them. God, that, that kind of is like a pretty good similarity, actually. <laughs> is this what Brad Pitt is going to look like in their, in their old age? Because like, <laughs> it's pretty close if you look at it. Um, yeah, this is how your person has, is feeling. They've lost their zest for life. They've, they've lost their vibrancy. That This karmic is, it's almost like they're being sucked dry of every ounce of energy that they've got. Um, they could be um, low on their finances even, or um, bad health even. All right, what else can you show me? They don't want anyone else around you. They may have somebody in their inner circle that they know, a friend, that may want to be with you because, I mean, you're luscious, collective, and you're out here winning. You're the treasure out here. This is the empress, okay? This is the empress. All you're doing is winning. You've got creative ideas that are going to take you far. Yeah, I feel like the, somebody else is talking to you or meeting up with you or you know your um this karmic oh that's what it is this karmic either saw the masculine oh boy that's why boy yeah your person is in trouble at home i'm telling you um they were like maybe looking at your photos or talking to somebody else about you or looking at old text messages something like that and i feel like the karmic found it on their phone oh boy they're in the dog house now i'm telling you and this karmic is absolutely enraged that was it holy cow they went off the deep end they're doing a lot of drinking right now yeah they're realizing that your person wants to be somewhere else they're getting messages from the divine they're raising their vibrations this person this karmic could have even found um uh, like websites that your person has visited looking up the twin flame soulmate connection or learning about their yeah look they're bossing up here somebody could have gotten into a car accident recently as well that's not for everyone, but I feel like um, it's almost like somebody was parked or something and they got rear-ended bad. You know, I don't know. That's a side note for someone. But I feel like this karmic, um, 
they have mental health issues, okay? I always notice this one little scar on their wrist. I feel like this person has had mental health issues for a while, and all the spell work and the bad energy and the obsessing about you has made it worse. Um, and now they're just there. They have this uncontrollable rage. They find out that your person is watching you or looking at pictures or looking into the twin flame soulmate connection and they can't stand it. This person busts out into like um, an absolute hissy fit, like raging, screaming, yelling. Look at them. Look at with the punches. I'm telling you, this person. They could get abusive, physically abusive with this masculine. They could. Meanwhile, you're out here all kinds of serene, relaxed, meditative. All of this is going on behind the scenes. You have no way of knowing besides your intuition. Yeah, and this karmic feels like they feel stupid. Um, They've done everything they can to keep this person where they are. Everything they can. And you know what? The divine is getting into this person's mind. They're enlightening your person. They're having an awakening. They're realizing things about this twin flame soulmate connection. They're looking at photos of you, reading old text messages, finding out information. And you know what? No matter what this karmic does... It's not working. They Even with the spell work, nothing is working. And they're freaking out right now. This, this um, karmic is flipping. I'm telling you, they are so enraged. I feel like the whole town can hear this person screaming. There's going to be a fight. They're going to, look, I mean, they've, they want to keep this person's eyes shut. They want to keep their mouth shut. They want to keep this person wherever they are, keep them stuck, keep them trapped. They want to squeeze you out of this masculine's mind, and they can't. They can't do it. All right, so because if the divine wants this masculine to wake up and be enlightened and grow in their spirituality, that's what the divine is going to have. It, and your masculine is pulled towards you. You're their divine feminine. Yeah, they're both watching you, studying you. Oh, man, you're being watched so close. This karmic could even have um, told a couple friends to keep watching you as well. Yeah, but look at This is the divine masculine being spiritually led. These are their ancestors, their spirit guides. The divine has this masculine. Like I said, if they, um, if if the divine wants this masculine to wake up and learn about the twin flame soulmates and learn about their spirituality and start their spiritual journey, that's what's going to happen. No binding spells, um, no fighting, no angry angry fits. None of that is going to work. The divine is going to have what the divine wants. I feel like, yeah, your person's being aw um, awakened here. They're being spiritually led. And there's nothing that the karmics can do to stop it. Yeah, look, ancestors. That wanted to come out. Ancestors. Your person's spirit guides and ancestors are around them, leading them. And look at how they're smiling. They're like, we're going to win this, karmic. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they are. And this karmic is furious. It's it's beyond that. It's crazy furious, you know. Yeah. All right, what else can you show me for behind the scenes? And I feel like there's something about your energy. Yeah, and as it, as it stops, it ends with people watching, learning. I feel like this is you. This feels like star energy to me. A big following, teaching people of their spirituality, being meditated, being connected to the divine, right? Very intuitive. You're a leader here. And you're all kinds of zen right now, you know? Um, chilling, being peaceful, being calm, being connected, tapped into the divine. I feel like you're helping your person find their own light. You're a light, uh, like a guide for others, and you're helping to guide this person as well. 
and now this their spiritual team um, has come in to pull them out of this mess. I mean, you're both working together, right? Spirit and your intuition to guide other people. And I feel like you're helping to guide this person out of this pet taxi, okay? Yes. Because they feel so trapped. They need help, so they're getting help. They need help from the divine, so they're getting help from the divine. Because these karmics are way too crazy. All And you know what? Here's the thing. They want to hold on to this masculine, not for the right reasons, though. Okay? This is scheming, plotting. This is having bad intentions. Okay? And they're willing to do things. You know, this person, this karmic could go to jail for fighting. They could. You know, for getting abusive. I feel like they're willing to. They're, you know, this is, they're crazy. Their true crazy is coming out. It is. But it's, it's also, they're not thinking rationally because of the spell work that they put out. So, yeah, I feel like this person, this masculine is going to be freed from this trap that they're in. They just feel so stuck. Um, and they're coming towards you, collective, okay? They're coming towards you. You're out here. You could be already meeting somebody new, a new soulmate connection. This is a two of cups coming together. So I feel like this person wants you. If they, they may know that you're out here living your best life. You're living it up. You're having the time of your life. You could be going on vacations, trips, right? Spending time by the pool, meeting new people, looking beautiful. You're in the sunlight. You're in the spotlight. Um, and I feel like, uh, yeah, your masculine is on their way, or they will be soon. They're getting freed by their spiritual team here. I've got an ancestor and two guides on top of your person, bringing them away from this karmic because the karmic, it's getting too crazy now. It is. It's getting way too crazy the karmics have done way too much, and um, it's just, it's almost, it's getting violent at this point, okay? So, yeah, the divine, uh, this is divine intervention all the way, all the way. And you know what? Honestly, I feel like you're being led to, I feel like both of you guys are being led towards each other, or your person's being led towards you, something like that. Give me one more here for the collective. But yeah, this is definitely divine intervention. This is the end to a cycle here. World card, you could be moving away. You could be making a location change. This is, this is people learning lessons, the end to cycles, so that something new can begin. This is you happy in the public eye as well. Like I said, being a guide, a healer, somebody who's very masterful at what you do. Okay, I feel like you really are guiding people, a lot of people, through this journey and to the end of a cycle. Okay, you're guiding them, you're teaching them. And I feel like you're teaching this person too. This is the universe too, watching everything, right? And I feel like this is masculine energy kind of on like worldwide. Um, a lot of people are having their awakenings right now, okay? They're, they may be a little bit behind some of us, but they're waking up. It's time. And it's, it's time for these karmics um, to get out of the way, right? And things are getting too crazy, too crazy. Yeah, I feel like this is the masculine getting the they're being they're being led here straight to you. Look, a proposal. I kid you not. Ooh, yeah, did you see that pop? They don't there's no more time for stagnancy. You're leaving the scene collective. You could be moving away. It's time for this person to come after their divine their divine partner. Um, there's a masculine who's on their way with a ring. Okay, on their way with a ring. I feel like they're going up against this karmic. They're, they're taking a stand. 
Um, I'm telling you, they're being spiritually led. Yeah, look, this wants to come out. Emperor energy. This person is bossing up. They're coming towards you. Somebody here is going to get a proposal. <laughs> Someone here is going to get a proposal. What's going to happen with these karmics? Like some of them too with the death card out here. Some of them will be stopped in their tracks. I hate to say it. There could be a loss of life here. Okay, so um, if people don't stop, right? If this karmic doesn't stop trying to get out, oh, they're, they're going to go crazy. The karmics are going to go crazy. You know, they're showing me the scene from The Craft. It's a movie called The Craft. At the end, there's the end part where, oh gosh, what is her name? Oh, I can't remember. Nancy, right? Isn't it? Is it Nancy? Nancy, um, she goes crazy at the end. She, they're showing me the scene where she's actually um, in restraints. Um, um, in some kind of mental institution, just crazy. Her eyes look crazy because she's obsessed. She's, uh, yeah, I feel like some of these people could, some of these, somebody's karmic is going to end up in a mental institution. That's what's going to happen to the karmics. It's, they're not going to stop obsessing and they're going to, they're going to go crazy over this. Their mental instabilities, um, I feel like their mental state can't take this, okay? You know, they've been, the karmic has gone through a lot of pressure in this situation, trying to hang on to this masculine for everything that they can, um, doing all that they can to, they're obsessing over you, trying to copy you, trying to be you, envious of you, jealous of you, um, all the spell work that they sent, it's all coming back on them. And I really hate to say this, but I really am seeing a karmic individual ending up in a mental institution. Because you know what? This masculine is bossing up. They're leaving this behind. The, the divine is intervening and getting this person unstuck. And I feel like it's just over. It's over for, for this karmic in this situation. And they're just going to keep getting upset, more and more obsessed, more and more enraged. Um, yeah, I feel like it changes this karmic to the point where they need some serious help, okay? I, ha I hate to say it like that. They may even feel a bit foolish. They may feel like a clown, be embarrassed in their community. I feel like it's all going to get the best of this of this person. It's all, yeah. See all of the physical fighting. Look at this physical physical fighting. Yeah, because your masculine wants to come to you. Yeah, these karmics. I feel like they're burning out, kind of, um, on ideas. Nothing they've done has worked. Nothing they've done has worked. Look at all of, this could be all spells, all ways to beat you, all ways to bring you down, ways to keep your person where they are, all the schemes and the planning, right? They don't, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do. They can't stop the masculine from wanting to come towards their feminine, period, dot. And this person, um, your masculine is bossing up. This is emperor energy. They're getting ready to come towards you now. They're getting all cleaned up. If this person had some kind of addictions, I feel like they're working on those and cleaning those up too. Uh, yeah. And they're enthusiastic here. Once they break free from the situation, boom, they get their enthusiasm back. They get a bounce in their step. And they come to you with this offer. And somebody, I'm telling you, someone out here is going to get a proposal. And I feel like um, this, the karmic is going to end, this karmic in particular, I feel is going to end up in a mental institution. Okay, I really do. They, they may need, they may need some help and support. Okay. 
So anyway, collective, wow, that's what I've got going on behind the scenes. Get ready, someone's gonna be proposed to here, be proposed to here, be 